Well, welcome, folks, to Podcast 2.2.1. This high gradient streams. We're talking about streams. This is our river unit. That's right. We're going to be talking about rivers. We have a cool picture right here of a river. Surprise, surprise. Now, today we want to talk about high gradient streams. That really means streams that are steep and that where they flow fast, as opposed to low gradient streams. That'll be our second podcast. So today, high gradient streams, some very cool stuff I've been learning, frankly, as I've been preparing for this podcast for you, and I'll get to share that with you today. Okay. First of all, since we're talking about rivers, we need to kind of define a river. I know that sounds odd that we have to define the word river, but that's what we're going to do. It is the the flow, that's a typo, the flow of water, usually fresh water, in a natural channel, keyword is the word channel right here, that flows toward an ocean, a sea, or other river. This right here down here is a picture, if you live anywhere near Woodland Park, Colorado, this is called the Fountain Creek. It's down, uh, I think this is somewhere near, um, uh, uh, in Colorado Springs area, so I guess probably towards Pueblo, I believe. But this is the Fountain Creek, so we are at the headwaters of Fountain Creek here in Woodland Park, Colorado. So that's a river. All right, now we also just talk about the concept of a river versus a stream versus a brook. Basically, rivers are big, streams are medium in size, and brooks are small. It's not like it's a hard and fast rule. But here we have a very large river. This is the Yukon River in Alaska. And uh, it could also be in Canada. Um, huge river, as you can see. And this, is, of course, is its channel. And here are some tributaries, which could either be a river or a stream. Brooks usually are, don't show up on maps, except for very fine, detailed maps. But just to get the idea that a river is a larger thing than a brook. And a stream is kind of in between. So I will probably use the term river and stream interchangeably. Now, since we're talking about stream gradients or river gradients, we need to define this term as well. A stream gradient is the ratio of the drop in a stream per unit distance, usually expressed as feet per mile. Basically, how far does it drop in feet per mile? So if I were to uh, draw a, a triangle, if you will, and I were to measure the drop in feet, so let's say it drops 100 feet, and then the distance here is over one mile, then this would be 100 feet per mile. So if you get the idea, that's how we measure that. And you're going to do this with some topographic maps, and I'll in fact show you how to do that a little bit later. A high gradient, which is what we're talking about today, high gradient stream indicates a steep slope and rapid flow of water. If it's steep, the water will flow more rapidly, whereas a low gradient indicates a more nearly level stream bed. So if I've got a river that kind of flows down like this, this is a high gradient stream. And if I have a river that flows this way, Okay, notice a slight downhill, that's a low gradient stream. So they're, um, and they move very slow, the, the water moves slowly, where it moves very rapidly in a high gradient stream. Now let's continue to do some more definitional words. The headwaters, okay, what's a headwater? This is the area furthest away from the mouth of the river. So this is where the river starts. The headwaters is the area where rivers start. They are at the highest elevation of the river system. Okay, and the slopes are generally steepest at the headwaters. Now something interesting is that I'm going to now uh, take a little video trip and we're going to go to the headwaters of Fountain Creek. Okay, um, here in Woodland Park. And the interesting thing is where we live in Woodland Park is we live at the headwaters of an ocean because of our high elevation. Well here I am standing at the headwaters of the Arkansas River. It's actually called Fountain Creek. And what we want to do is just talk about high gradient streams. So if we're going to turn around and look right here, all right, so if you look down here, you'll see this high gradient stream. It's actually been kind of cut out down here, and there's a grate, so it's, humans have actually had a lot to do with this. So obviously, the, the stream is not flowing because, of course, it's the middle of winter. But we are at a high gradient stream at the headwaters of the river because we're very high in altitude, uh, very close to Pikes Peak. In fact, we can see Pikes Peak if I go over here and zoom in way up there behind those trees, we can see Pikes Peak. So this is the headwaters of both the Fountain Creek and also the Arkansas River. Now, 
let's take a look at where you just saw me in the video clip and let's take a look here is a Google Earth of uh, Woodland Park and here we are at the top of a mountain actually if you look at this map here probably you're gonna say well wait a second Woodland Park is in a valley uh, this of course is Rampart Range up here but then the, if the water flows down here eventually it's gonna kind of go through here and it's gonna kinda of start heading downhill and those of you who know Woodland Park is if I keep going this direction it's gonna go down 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 well tell you what um, let's take a look at what it looks like more so here's Woodland Park up here okay so here's Google Earth Woodland Park and this right here if you can see this channel this channel like about right here is the low region guess what that's called well that's Fountain Creek in fact we should go further downhill in Fountain Creek so let's take another video tour on the lower actually the middle reaches of Fountain Creek well, here I am at a high gradient stream. It's still the Fountain Creek. We're a little bit down, uh, downstream on near Manitou Springs. And as you can see, you've got a high, high gradient stream behind me. It's coming pretty quick. It's because it's dropping really fast right here. And uh, also notice the large size of the boulders behind me. That's because the high gradient stream's one characteristic is first is that they can move large rocks and boulders down. Also, you notice the rock or the water is moving very, very rapidly. And that's, of course, because of the steepness, the high gradient. Well, we're going to go a little bit further downstream and skip, uh, find out what happens when it hits the flatlands. So you can see there um, I was uh, further downhill. And uh, let's uh, keep on going here. Now we are in Colorado Springs in this particular map. So if you look at this map, um, Woodland Park is kind of way up here, and or ac actually probably here, and we can follow that river. This is the Fountain Creek. It actually follows Highway 24 going down the pass, as those of you know. The, the creek follows down the path, and it keeps on going, and now it reaches into Colorado Springs, and you can kind of see this is the Fountain Creek right here, and then it goes off the map about right there. And that's Fountain Creek, and it just flows down. Now notice here, up here, um, this right here, up in this part, that's the headwaters, right? And this is the flood plain down here. And this, of course, is where the stream is um, not very steep. In fact, I bet we should probably go visit that place in Colorado Springs. What do you think? I think we should do that. Oh, wait, hold on. We're going to do that next. Sorry. Here is uh, zoomed in uh, the next stage. This is where um, you'll see me in that video clip. And here is, uh, I'm going to go for a run. And as you can see right here, this is um, where I um, will be in this next video clip. Okay, so now. We're going to now go see me um, uh, in my cool running gear as I run on the Fountain Creek Trail and uh, down actually kind of by Tent City. So let, let's, let's go there now. All right, well, here my dog is, Ranger, and we're now uh, downstream from the same, on the same Fountain Creek. And if you'll notice right here, a lot of wind, that the river, the creek really, is going much slower. I'm standing here in the sandbar, sinking down. And you can see here, uh, it's a much, much slower river. It's very shallow. Parts actually can get deep. See the dog in the water. He's going to shake on me right now, I think. And um, we've just got a, a slower, low gradient stream. A lot of sediment down here, just sand everywhere. If you look at all the sand, and we can look way, way down here. And uh, this is now indicative of a low gradient stream. Notice all the tiny sediment particles that actually came up from those headwaters. They started up there in Woodland Park, and now they're down here um, along the Fountain Creek. Now I'm further downstream on this river, and as you can see, there's actually ducks, and I see even the vegetation's changing because we're getting to a warmer place. See the ducky there? And uh, the water is a lot deeper. So one thing indicative of these uh, low gradient streams is uh, that the water is deeper. Also, a lot more water has come into the stream from different tributaries and things. And so you can kind of see how it's going relatively fast, actually, here, primarily because of the, uh, still the gradient is not bad, but we're getting a lot more water. It's all starting to collect together.